If you're coming to Thailand in 2023 and you're wondering what to do and where to go, keep watching. We've been in Thailand for almost two months and we have done a lot of exploring. As first time travelers to Thailand, we did what most tourists do. But we do enjoy getting off the tourist trail every once in a while, which you guys will see later in the video. So stay tuned as we take a trip down memory lane and tell you our top six reasons for why we love Thailand and think you will too. Like millions of people before us, we landed in Bangkok and beelined it straight for Khao San Road. Partying is not really our thing, but it was really fun for an evening or two and we definitely recommend checking it out if you're staying near Old Town. Hotels and hostels there are super cheap, there's tons of great food all around, and you're really close to Bangkok's most iconic temples. Speaking of temples, this leads us to the first reason why we love Thailand. Bangkok has hundreds of temples alone and they are all incredible. We only had a chance to visit a few of them before we took a train north to Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was the second capital of the Kingdom of Siam before falling in the 18th century. Now the ruins of those temples make up the Ayutthaya Historical Park, which is an archaeological site full of Buddhist temples, monasteries, and statues. Definitely don't miss this place. It's an easy one hour train ride from Bangkok to Ayutthaya and we had an amazing time walking through the ancient temples and checking out all of the statues. Remember to check out Wat Mahathat's root covered Buddha head while you're there. It is something else. It's really magical. After a few days exploring Ayutthaya, we took a minivan back to Bangkok so we could catch our flight to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai also has a plethora of awesome temples and the food, oh my god the food, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, but seriously though, is any trip to Chiang Rai complete without a visit to the White or Blue Temple? No, those places were amazing. Go early to avoid the crowds and definitely try the blue ice cream at the Blue Temple. You will not be disappointed. It might have been one of our favorite parts of Temple Day. Yeah. <laughs> It was so good. I can die happy. And if you get the chance to visit Pai, you have to check out Wat Pratat Mayen, the Big White Buddha. It is absolutely stunning. You'll have to climb up 353 stairs to get there, but we feel like it was worth it. It was very peaceful at the top, and we were lucky to have it all to ourselves for a little bit. Speaking of getting to Pai, let's talk about the second thing we love about Thailand, is all the transportation options. In Bangkok, you've got the BTS and the MRT, which is a great way to get around the city super fast and super cheap. In most of the major cities, you've got Bolt and Grab, which operate really similar to Uber and Lyft. All of the cities have their own taxi systems, and most of the cities have minivans, trains, taxis, tuk-tuks, or song towels. There's tons of great ways to get around in all of the places we've been in Thailand, but by far our favorite has either been renting a motorbike or renting a car, because that allows us to get outside of the city a little bit and check out some of the lesser known areas and see these little smaller towns and villages. And that brings us to our next point. So we recently discovered that we love Thai glamping. We did our first glamping experience in Monjam and it was one of the best experiences that we've had. Now, if you're not familiar with Monjam, it is this gorgeous little mountain town outside of Chiang Mai known for its panoramic views and you absolutely have to go there. The glamping is top notch and so is the Mukata. Just a few weeks after leaving Monjam, we actually went glamping again in Chiang Rai at this amazing place called Puchi Fa. Now, if you haven't been there before, it is this absolutely gorgeous destination known to the Thai people as having the most epic and beautiful sunrises in Thailand. Now, we weren't lucky enough to experience that, but we did see a really, really beautiful sunset and we loved our time there. We couldn't talk about our favorite things about Thailand without highlighting some of the incredible experiences this country has to offer. There's so much to do here from taking a Thai cooking class and learning how to cook all of your favorite Thai dishes, spending a day volunteering with elephants, and if you're lucky enough, being able to catch traditional festivals. We had the opportunity to partake in three days worth of the Loi Kratong and Yi Ping Festival while we were in Chiang Mai, and it was one of the highlights of our trip. Being able to hang out and watch participants shoot off fireworks, release Kratongs into the river, and lanterns into the sky was probably one of the most magical experiences we could have ever asked for. Let's go back to Bangkok for just a second. If you're in the City of Angels, definitely check out the Jim Thompson House Museum to learn a little bit of history about the Thai silk trade. It's a great way to escape the heat, and you can even purchase one of the beautiful scarves 
cigars made by the company. And no visit to Bangkok would be complete without spending an afternoon in one of the city's gigantic shopping malls. These things are massive, and it's like nothing I've ever seen before. If you make it to Pai, rent a scooter, and make the 30-minute drive to the small village of Pembok, that way you can see the 800-meter-long bamboo bridge. We spent a really great afternoon there, feeding giant catfish, taking a stroll along the bridge, visiting the forest temple in the back, and enjoying the expansive rice fields. And for something totally different than the light and airy temples of Chiang Rai, be sure to visit the Black House or the Ban Dam Museum. It is incredible. The Black House is known for its traditional Thai buildings mixed with contemporary architecture and tons of eerie animal bones and this insane collection of oddities. They also happen to have a themed ice cream. It's just black <laughs> instead of blue and you definitely have to try it. Yeah, it's really good. If you've never had charcoal ice cream before, it's a great place to try it for the first time. Thailand is known for its incredible night markets and we visit a lot of them. Some of them are fancy and some of them are more traditional, but all of them are unique and they all are guaranteed to have great food, so make sure you arrive hungry. Our favorite night market that we've been to so far is the Sunday night walking street in Chiang Mai. It's well known for a reason and it is awesome. There's all kinds of great shopping to be had, incredible food, wonderful live performances and music, and the atmosphere is just alive. One of our favorite parts of that market was being able to settle down in the food court right inside Wat Pan An, people watch and have some delicious food served up by a ton of different vendors. Chiang Mai definitely had our favorite night markets. Another one of our favorites was the Anisar Night Market. It's got this awesome indoor food court, lots and lots of shopping, live music almost every night, and one of the coolest things that we've done. They have a drag cabaret show, which was new for us, but was definitely a night to remember. Pai also has a really cute walking street that's open every night. It's a great place to go try delicious street food, I think we tried cold noodles there for the first time and sugarcane juice, which was absolutely fantastic. And if you're in Chiang Rai on a Saturday, definitely check out the Saturday walking street. You can join a dancing line and it was an awesome time. It was really, really fun seeing everybody just join in and start dancing. The music was blaring, there was tons of really good food, and we actually had a couple of bloopers in that video. So if you haven't watched it, we'll go ahead and link it here. It's pretty funny. Oh. This list is not in any particular order, but if we had to pick a number one reason for coming to Thailand and why we love it so much, it would definitely be the food. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> the food is incredible and there is so much variety. Before I had come, I had no idea what to expect. I didn't even think I liked Thai food. And now it is one of my favorite cuisines. I fell in love with khao soy and I know Mike had his own favorites. Yeah. Mien Kham is probably one of my favorite street food snacks if you can find them at local markets. So delicious. And who doesn't love Pad Krapau? Mm, yeah, Pad Krapau might be the most amazing dish. We've tried so many new foods coming to Thailand and we're gonna leave with so many fond memories and even the skill to cook some of them. <laughs> Yeah, our cooking class in Chiang Mai was one of the highlights of our trip. We learned how to make spring rolls, had Thai, everything was amazing. So that's our top six reasons for liking Thailand, but we do have one bonus. We couldn't talk about Thailand without talking about how amazing the people are here. From the minute we touched down, everyone has been incredibly helpful, very kind, and super welcoming of us. We've made friends in each place that we've visited, and we are so thankful to the Thai people for welcoming us into this amazing country. We hope you enjoyed our top six reasons for why we love Thailand. We'll be sure to link everywhere we visited in the description below. That way you can check those places out if you're interested. Do you agree with our top six reasons for liking Thailand? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you've stuck along this far because now it's our big announcement. We still have so much of Thailand to explore, but now that our visas are coming to an end, we're gonna hop on a two-day luxury slow boat and head to Lao. We're gonna spend the next 30 days exploring Luang Prabang, Vang Viang, and Vien Tien before flying back to Bangkok. We still have so many adventures in Thailand, and even though we're sad to leave, we're really, really excited to get laid back in Lao. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Thailand and Southeast Asia content. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And speaking of Thailand's... <laughs> speaking of Thailand's... We're gonna have so many bloopers. <laughs> Maybe. They'll tell you a little bit of history about the silk, the Thai... <laughs> and now it is one of my favorite cuisines that I have ever had. Cuisine. <laughs> There are hundreds of temples in Bangkok alone, but we only had the chance to visit a few. <laughs> and let's be real, is any trip to Chiang Rai complete without a visit to the Blue or Black Temple?
mosquitoes here. <laughs> we decided to go like. <laughs>